Hi, I'm Rachel, and today we're going to be going over how to count back change. So I like to give students, um, you know, a menu or something or different objects and have them price the different objects so they can practice um, with things like a menu or different objects where they have a certain price. Uh, but there's also, you know, two different ways to go about this. Let's say that they give you a $10 bill and um, you spent $7.50. Well, the two different ways to go about this are counting up with addition or counting down with subtraction. You can start at the 750 and add up. You can add $1 to get 850, and then you can add $2 to get 950, and then you can add 50 cents. So then you know it's 250, and that you count it up to 10. You can also count, um, subtract from 10, start from 10, and go down to 750. So have them count from 10 to 9, that's 1, to 8, that's um, the 2, right? And then, 2 is the 8, and then they subtract 50. So it becomes again 250 when they subtract from 850 down to 750. So that's another way. It's good to show them both ways, the addition way and the subtraction way. Um, even if they're better at one, it's good for them to practice both so they can become familiar with both addition and subtraction and, you know, be fluent in both um, ways of subtracting change. I'm Rachel and thanks for learning with me today.